Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. What up? Welcome back to the Necro Zoo. I am Bones. And in this one, let's go ahead and add one more two pack to my McFarlane DC Multiverse collection. Now, this time we'll be taking a look at the two pack of Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, the Blue and Gold two pack. Now, these characters I am pretty familiar with. Blue Beetle, always been a fan of. Booster Gold, another interesting character. Seen them a lot on like Justice League Unlimited. That was where I like knew these characters from. Pretty interesting, fun characters. They're more different than your normal characters because they're more like go lucky guys. But the bromance is pretty strong in the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. But first, they both do come with a black DC Multiverse stand. Not really needed, but sometimes helpful. They each come with their data file card. You have Blue Beetle. Pretty cool source material artwork on the front. And on the back, you do have some information. Of course, Booster also gets his card. Love this artwork on this card. It looks really awesome. You have a reflection of Batman and Robin on his gauntlet. And on the back, of course, you do have some information. Pretty sweet. Now, they actually do come with a lot of accessories. Blue Beetle comes with his little, kind of like a grapnel gun. This one does have some wire with a beetle on it. Pretty cool. I'd really wish this was detachable, and I do think that I can make it detachable. So we'll probably look into doing that in the future. They also come with this piece. It looks like Skeets. And it does have like a connector here at the bottom. One of the funnest accessories is this blaster for Booster Gold. I guess it goes around his wrist and you could shoot it out. Pretty nice. <laughs> a really interesting little accessory. It's a little yellow cell phone. Pretty interesting for the times, but it does match up to the way the characters act in the comics. So pretty cool. And of course they do come with their stand. Now this one is pretty nice considering that all the scope work that goes into it. You got like grid patterns of like technological stuff. Pretty cool. And like I said, it does have a hole here on this side. And I'm guessing Skeets probably fits in there. Yeah. And what's cool is you can rotate them. Pretty cool little addition to have fun with the accessories. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. First, we'll take a look at Blue Beetle since I am more familiar with him. Now, first off, I, I don't really get uh, bothered by things that are chosen for these figures, but <laughs> I just can't get around it. One thing I do not like is that they did not make the lenses for his goggles and his glasses they didn't make them uh, translucent or clear I mean this is on all the packaging on all the source material figures that have been made in the past I'll have it's just a thing that everybody knows so I have no idea why they chose to go with just this painted plastic <sighs> I'm gonna try and get past it because I just it, it's really bothering me <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean beautiful looking figure just to have it in hand is pretty awesome but that's one thing I just did not like even from the images that were released was the uh, no clear transparent plastic on the lenses and really downer uh, really drops a notch for these figures for me but let's see if we could have some other fun with them Taking a look at Blue Beetle, I mean, this is your classic Blue Beetle look. He's always had that same suit, even throughout the old school comics. Really cool. 
Let's take a look at the head. He does have a pretty hilarious smirk on his face, which uh, is rather interesting. He can look down really well. The head has some nice cool range and smooth articulation. You could look up really high. This is absolutely done right. The articulation is on point for the head. You got right to left. You got tilt for character. So that's awesome. That's really good right there for the head articulation and the sculpt. Really some good points there. Coming down to the chest, you have the blue beetle symbol on the suit and then the ab cut out there. Kind of a new mold for McFarlane. These are really smooth figures when usually he adds a lot of texture and little grain and these are just your basic comic book style figures which is pretty cool i mean you don't see it a lot also i would have to say that the colors are really a change of pace are really cool really nice so i'm down with that that's I, I just don't like the fact that they did not use transparent plastic but uh, besides that these are looking really nice in hand really they feel really smooth and really good so pretty awesome let's check out the waist articulation you have side to side full range of motion at the waist lower waist swivel upper chest swivel you could twist them get them in some cool poses not really any ab crunch forward really slight but he can lean back very well so i mean he feels really smooth like the articulation is really nice and you could see all the range that he has so that's you know there's a lot of points here there's a lot of good things here i could say that take a look at the arms he does have pretty nice butterfly shoulder joints with those faux bushings there for the shoulder you got up and down and front to back bicep swivel double jointed elbows that look really good and then going down into the glove area you have a really small sculpted ball joint for the wrist so that does give him articulation the other hand has a fist which is a really nice addition all in all can't complain it looks really good get him in a t-pose and then lift his arms up above his head Really nice. I mean, I, I cannot say enough about how smooth the articulation is on this one, but okay, we'll just push forward. Check out the trunks. Pretty nicely sculpted. Got a belt buckle there. Some line work. Check out the thigh swivel. A really good thigh swivel. I mean, <laughs> uh, awesome. Got a lot of range there. Can kick up pretty high can kick back pretty high that's allowed by the rubber in the trunks cock out his leg he does have double jointed knees that sweet hip swivel crunch the knees down nicely sculpted back out up down at the ankle right to left smooth rocker and toe articulation take a look at the whole lower body before we move on as i said before it's kind of interesting that these do not have any grain or or any kind of sculpt work except for like the boot the top of the boots and around the trunks area so like i say i'm not necessarily against it it's just something different from mcfarland which is always cool to see Check out from the bottom, some identifying marks, but no tread. And then moving up the back, the same smooth sculpt work. The, mus the musculature is really nice, I'll give them that much. Moving up into the back, you can see the butterfly bushing from here. They do have cutouts where you could kind of move the shoulders back. So that gives them a lot more range for positioning range for posing and stuff so i mean the advancement in the smoothness of the articulation and all that is really cool i just 
it's just a different take on a superhero costume and it's a more cleaner, smoother take. Now you can take his grapnel gun and stick it in his hand. Pose him. Shooting it out. Pretty cool. So that's Blue Beetle. Pretty interesting. Let's take a look at Booster. Pretty much all the same thing. I'll just try and run it down a little bit quicker, but Booster Gold. <laughs> Pretty funny character. I have seen him various times on uh, cartoons and stuff. He uh, <laughs> really a jackass. That's, you know, basically what he is. Uh, uh, lovable goofball, you could say. But he is from the future. I know that. Also, in the future, he he's a nobody, but he takes things and brings them to the past that here make him more of a superhero. So that's a rather kooky backstory. Uh, looks really good. I mean, the paint is really flat as well. You don't have any kind of shine to it. It's just, you know, your basic flat color scheme, but yellow and dark blue. You don't really see that a lot. Nice change of pace star emblem on his chest let's take a look at the head now he has more of a laugh or like a smile on his face but once again the glaring thing is the <laughs> the lenses are not clear I don't know why they did this uh, gonna take a lot for me to get over it but the head is sculpted really well and you know he does give off that attitude of booster gold check the articulation looks down looks really up right to left tilt for a character really smooth articulation in the head as as well as blue beetle waist the same side to side all around lower waist swivel upper chest not really any lean forward but you can lean them back twist them for some cool poses and they did a really good job of being able to line up, you know, the, the costume. Not perfectly, but it's also not that bad. When you move them around, the costume still lines up. It doesn't break up the paint of the costume. So that's really nice. Arms the same. You've got the butterfly shoulder joint, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Now, he's a little bit different because when you move down, he has like a cuff and then he has some blasters on the backs of his hands, which is what that accessory is for. And then on this side, he actually has, on where he has his fist, he has a legionnaire ring, which is from the future that he brings to the past. T-pose, arms up. Pretty cool. Die swivel. Kicks up really high. Kicks back really high. Cock out the leg. Double jointed knees. Up, down at the ankle. Right to left. Rocker and toe articulation. Now, looking down at his lower body, like I said, it's cool that it's the same, basically the same suit. The only difference is the trunks and the head sculpt, which is what makes him different, and the little details like his blasters and stuff like that. But basically, it's like the same body, just a couple of differences. But since they are best pals, kind of makes sense. Take a look at him from the bottom. Identifying marks, no tread. Moving up the back into a cool paint job. And I love these cutouts on the back where you could get them to have like more range. Pretty cool. So that's a booster for you. He's a cut up. Never take him seriously.
So let's finish off the accessories. We have this blaster that actually looks really good. This is one of my favorite accessories in the recent, you know, figures. <laughs> you clip this onto his wrist ball and it actually shoot, looks like he's, you know, shooting a blast of energy. Pretty nice. You have the cellular phone, of course, to send text or put up vids on Tic Tac. Pretty nice. Just all around fun guys. I mean, you get, you get the feeling of it with the colors and the costumes that this is more, you know, of a, of a funner side of the DC superheroes. Let's go ahead and bring in the only other figures I have of these. I do have the DC Universe Classics Blue Beetle. Really love this guy. Look at the goggles on him. They are transparent. That's how you do it, McFarlane. And he did come with a holster with his uh, grapnel gun. Interesting thing is you can take that grapnel gun and actually put it with the new Blue Beetle. If you don't want to have that, you know, uh, that wire with the beetle sticking out and you don't want to cut it. If you could find one of these old ones to take some pictures, you could always use that swap really quick and useful. Then we have the classic Booster Gold. This is the, I think, modern version. But look at the colors on this guy, the metallic paint I really like. I've always loved these figures together. And there's even a different version where he has like a collar. I think this was more like the old school classic version of Booster Gold. And he did have the skeets that connects to his back. And one thing people didn't know is you can actually open it. And I think there's a Mr. Mind or something that is inside the little like ship. Pretty cool little uh, details that these figures have. I do have an extra like little Skeets ship, but this is the one that does not open. This one came with this booster gold, but you can kind of modify it a little bit and stick this like behind his shoulder of the new of the McFarlane one and it looks pretty good it works well that way you know this is all just to take you know pictures or if you want to set them up specifically for display you could use these old classic accessories with the new figures anyways guys all in all beautiful figures a whole different turn for McFarlane where it's a more smooth sculpt for the figures without any really texture or grain but it does work with these guys because this is their classic costumes uh, fun attitude with these figures you could put them on the stand and display them put some of these accessories with them or you could put them up on your shelf as some bright shelf candy all in all even besides the lenses really get on my nerves they are two cool figures to add to my collection you guys keep hunting out there, keep collecting, keep customizing, and I will see you on the next one.